Doctors are calling it a medical miracle. A new treatment for sickle cell anemia uses the power of gene editing to trickle or to trick the body into producing healthier blood cells. News Channel 5's Chris Davis shows us how as part of a big part of this breakthrough is taking place right here in Nashville. When the book is written on how we cured sickle cell anemia, the opening chapters will be set in Nashville. It uses a very novel technology by using gene editing called CRISPR-Cas9. The treatment works almost like the editor of a book. So you need to think about your genetic material like a book with two, three thousand pages. If Dr. Heider Frangul edits just one word, it changes the book's meaning. It's the same concept for gene editing. Our technology uh, uses an RNA that guides our CRISPR-Cas9 molecule to uh, alter that BC11A gene and turns it off and tell the cell to make a lot of fetal hemoglobins. In other words, Dr. Frank Gould will take out a particular gene and edit it in the lab to instruct the body to produce a healthier version of the blood cell. But in order to insert those edited genes, doctors actually have to rely on a therapy you probably know for cancer, chemotherapy. After they are gene edited, we have to use chemotherapy to remove the cells that make sickle cell disease in the patient before replacing them with the gene edited cells. All of this was just a theory until Dr. Frangul was given approval to actually test it out in a patient. The very first was Victoria Gray. Then when we told her about this new technology and said, look, nobody else has ever done it before. Uh, nobody has uh, tried it. We don't know if it's going to work. Um, we don't know the long term side effects of it. Uh, and when we discussed it with her, she said, sign me up. That was back in 2019. About a year and a half later, her sickle cell anemia has dramatically reduced and she's getting to do things she assumed were impossible. The thing that made me the happiest is to see Victoria saying she can now go and attend her children's sporting activities, which she could not do before because she is in pain all the time. This same technology may be able to treat other genetic disorders, meaning additional books about medical miracles may begin in Music City, too. We are very proud and very um, happy to be part of this, uh, really a breakthrough in, in medicine that we are doing here in Nashville. Chris Davis, News Channel 5. It may be a few years before this treatment for sickle cell anemia gets approved for widespread use. But in the meantime, if you have sickle cell and want to participate in TriStar Centennial's trial, they are still accepting patients.